Hey love, so I'm going to do like a super quick video. My wig looking crazy because I done sweated it out when I was recording my lookbook. So anyways, um, so I've been wearing like head wraps lately, uh, scarves I guess. I mean, it's just whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I had two African print uh, scarves from eBay. I found some on Etsy, they're like $10. And then I was going to go back and get them and I was like, you know what, I can try to make my own. Then I had like a random black scarf and I was like, oh, okay, I got that from the beauty supply store, just put it on. I have a video on how I make the wraps. I mean, not how I make them, how I do them. But this video is going to be on I learned how to make them and it's really simple. I was going to go to Joann's or like a fabric store, but I ended up going to Walmart and I ended up finding these. And these are the Waverly Inspirations 100% cotton 72 inch by 44 inch uh fabric basically and it looks like this so this is two yards of fabric and um usually walmart has like a whole section you know of fabric but they didn't have it at this one so i was like eh, whatever i'll go ahead and try these so i'm gonna go ahead and make my gray one and my black one but i'm gonna show you guys how i make the black one i already made a red one and a navy blue one so um yeah we're gonna get to the black one all you need is a pair of scissors in the fabric and I'm going to show you how easy it is now if you start off with two yards of fabric that should be enough um I was lucky with this one because my other head wraps are like 70 inches long 20 inches wide and this is 72 inches long and 44 inches wide so this is actually two scarves and one um once you take that wrapper off you just unravel it or unroll it from the board that's inside of it and it's just that and then what you're left with is basically one big piece of fabric so um, I unroll it all the way out where it's completely flat and the reason I'm not doing this on the table because it's super super simple so then I unfold it so this is about 21 no 22 inches wide and 72 inches long and again it is folded in half so i can unfold it once more but i'm not going to so now what i'm going to do is this is the open end then we have the closed end so i'm going to take my scissors and cut on the crease where it was folded or cut on the fold and this is going to be really bad because I cannot really see with this light blinding me. So I'm just going to cut like that and that's it. Make one little slit and I'm going to show you it's really not big at all. And then rip. So rip all the way down and that's how you make a scarf y'all. So I'm going to put it on real quick to show you guys that it is the right fit and I'm just ready to take this wig off in all honesty. So now I have two new black scars, which is great because I get makeup on them. But you could just, this is cotton, so you can just wash it. So I'm going to wash all my head scarves sooner or later. So now that I have one big piece of fabric, I'm just going to put it right there. Take this good old wig off. Um... In my video, ooh, that looked bad. <laughs> In my video, I'll show you guys, well, the video that I have actually showing how I wrap my hair. I explain why I put the donut here, and this is just like a fake bun. If you don't have a fake bun on hand, you can just use like some fabric to stuff it, a pair of socks, I don't, you know, whatever you can to get some volume up here. And then I'm going to take the scarf. I'm going to try to find the middle of the scarf. And 
So it's literally that simple and my nails are really bad right now. So everything is like catching on them. But this legit takes me 30 seconds to a minute at tops, um, depending on how slow I go. When I use cotton, and I'll move up a little bit closer so you can get the little details. <laughs> but when I use cotton scarves, it's a little trickier than when I use a satin one because the satin stretches or um, polyester. I really don't know the fabric of the other one. But this one is cotton, so it does, you know, take a little bit more. It's a little bit bulkier, but it's still lightweight. And, yeah, that's really how I do my scarves. And from now on, I won't be buying them, <laughs> you know, because I can just make them myself. So, that's that. Time to record one more video about how I do my puff and... That is it. Thank you guys so much for joining. I hope this was a little bit helpful if you're interested in wearing scarves. And actually, the pack of fabric costs like 5 or $6. But um, I'm sure you can go to like a craft store and get it for less two yards of fabric. And you can have like so many options. You can have gold, silver, sparkly, sheer, all types of fabric on your head. And it can look so effortless and easy but still so cute and chic. So... Yeah, um, I've been doing that so much this summer and it's just been the wave, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys for joining.